Working with the Portrait, Part 3. Now that we have removed the blemishes and the reflectors from her eyes, we're ready to soften her skin. To soften her skin, we're going to use the Gaussian Blur and High Pass Effect. The Gaussian Blur is to smooth out her skin, and the High Pass Effect will be to add the detail back in without accentuating the pores. To select her face, we could use one of three selections. The selection tools are going to be located at the top right in the tool palette. There is the selection brush, which allows you to paint into a selection. So if you had an area that was oblongated or not a necessary size with multiple colors that need to be selected, the selection brush would be perfect for that. You could use the marquee tool if you have circles, ovals, or rectangles, or if you want to just freehand a selection area. The selection tool that I use the most is the selection control point. The selection control point has a plus or minus option. Using the plus selection control point, I'm able to place a mask onto my image, showing me an area that is going to be affected by this adjustment. By duplicating the control point, I'm able to select more than one piece of the picture. As I spread it out, the feathering is starting to affect the strand of her hair that we're going to need to protect. It is also affecting some of her eyes that we don't want to be softened. And it's heavily affecting her lips due to the proximity of the lips and the control points. Let's put one more control point on her neck. Bring the size of that one just a little bit more to cover both edge to edge of her neck. Now to protect her lips from these control points, all I need to do is choose the minus selection control point, stick it on her lip. Now her lips are starting to be protected. I want a precise protection, so I'm going to shrink down the selection control point and duplicate it to cover more area and be more precise on the selection. Duplicate it again, bring it up to her eyes. Duplicate another one over to her right eye. Duplicate another onto her hair. Another duplication. One more for this strand of hair right in the middle. Now as I put this minus selection control point, you can see that this piece of skin is no longer being selected. To make sure that that is selected, right click on the plus selection control point, duplicate it, drag it over into that section, and shrink it down. Put one more minus selection control point on the back side of her hair to protect from the new plus selection control point we have just placed. Now to minimize or to take off the control points from the screen so we don't see them, minimize the selection window in the edit palette and now it is time to apply an adjustment to the selection. To do that, click on Select Adjustment. Choose the adjustment you want to apply. In this case, it is Focus, Gaussian Blur. Now the mask disappears and the Gaussian Blur selection is ready to be applied. When I apply a Gaussian Blur for skin softening, I use the radius, which is in a terms of pixels, with the amount of my camera. This was shot with a D3, therefore I'm going to use 12 pixels. Now let's zoom in to 100%, which will allow you to see the amount of softening that 12 pixels at 100% opacity really is applying to the image back up just a touch. 
This is way too much softening, and her skin looks fake. To reduce the opacity, click on the triangle and slide it to the left. You can apply as much as you want, or you can have as much showing through as you'd like. In this case, I'm going to apply 50%. Still has quite a bit of softening, but I want really smooth skin tones. Now minimize the Gaussian Blur, right-click on the Gaussian Blur option that you've just applied, and copy the adjustment. Click just below it in the Edit List palette, right-click again, and then paste the adjustment. By pasting the adjustment, we now have two Gaussian Blurs being applied to the image. We don't want a second Gaussian Blur, but what we want is the selection area. Now click on option 5, or in this case the second Gaussian Blur. Go to the selection. Click on the drop-down window. Again, choose Focus. And this time, choose High Pass. Now with the High Pass effect, what we're going to do is sharpen the area which is highlighted in gray. To apply sharpening, all you have to do is slide the slider over to the right, increasing the pixel count. We are not going to use the pixel count of the camera because it would be too much sharpening. Zoom in on the image. and slide the high pass slider to the right until you see the pore definition reappear to your image. This is the before, very soft, hard to see the pores. Here is the after, where we can start to see the pore definition back into the face. Now to apply this effectively, Choose the opacity, then select all, and change the channels to luminance and chrominance. Luminance is the light channel, chrominance is the color channel. Select a blending mode from normal to overlay, and then reduce the chrominance opacity to zero. Now reduce your luminance opacity to 50%. This allows for smooth yet detailed skin softening to be applied to your image. To see the difference between the original and the now edited image, click on View, Compare Images, Compare with Original, let the computer process. Here is our starting image before we began the portrait sessions. And here is the final image after removal of blemishes, removal of reflectors, and skin softening. To increase to see the difference between the two images, press Ctrl plus, press the spacebar, get the hand tool, and drag it down until you can see a side-by-side -side comparison of the section that you'd like to see. Working on portraits is very simple and easy to do. Once you have an idea of what you want done to in a portrait, it's very simple to apply these adjustments. I hope you've enjoyed this portrait session. My name is Terrence Campbell. Have a wonderful day.